Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. Uh, we're back. We're back from vacation. It was fantastic. We were at the Disney Aulani Resort on the island of Oahu in the state of Hawaii. It was wonderful. It's a great place. If you ever get a chance to visit there, I highly suggest it. And we, we got to go to the Arizona Memorial. We got to see the Bofin Submarine Museum. That was cool. Uh, I've got videos planned of the family vacation and I'm going to put them on the secondary channel over at Technically Nerdy. I'll put a link down in the description. Feel free to subscribe and click the bell and then you'll be notified when cool, awesome stuff shows up. Now you may be asking yourself, what is this? This is Darth Vader. This is Floalistics Low Poly Darth Vader printed in protopasta carbon fiber. Oh, yeah! This is a good model and I'll put the model link down in the description, the head and the body and the little pin that goes between the head and the body print out and it prints just like that. And then you stand it up like that and it looks glorious. Of course, this Darth Vader is awfully tiny. This is a little bit bigger and it does fit a Red Bull can. And this is my Darth Vader Red Bull koozie remixed from Flowalistics Low Poly Darth Vader head. And this is cool and all, but here we go. This is, this is the big one. This is the, I, I wanted just a big Darth Vader head and I like the low poly model that Flowalistic made. Um, there isn't a lot of infill, so you do see some issues up top, but I thought I need a bigger one and I, I want it printed in a cool material. And I happen to have the 0.8 millimeter micro Swiss nozzle on my Ultimaker 2 Plus and a fresh roll of protopasta's pine filament left over from Christmas. And why don't we make ourselves a protopasta pine Darth Vader? In order to do that, I need to say time lapse. That time lapse was cool, but look at this. Look at this Vader. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wait, ready? You have failed me for the last time. So this Darth Vader right here is Floalistics low poly Darth Vader head. It's sized up, I believe, 600 or 800%. It consumes nearly the full build plate of the Ultimaker 2 Plus. It's printed with a 0.8 millimeter micro Swiss nozzle in the Protopasta Pine scented PLA. And this model is, fin well, it's a great model, but the print is wonderful. And that nozzle lays down beautiful layers. And the Protopasta filament is really hard to beat. God, I love, I love their PLA. The pine stuff is good, uh, the glitter stuff is good, but just whatever there's, whatever you get of theirs, that's the PLA. It looks cool. This model is awesome. It's just a huge Darth Vader head. I love it. If you have yourself a 3D printer and you can put on some new nozzles, I highly suggest getting yourself a big fat nozzle. May I recommend a 0.8 millimeter nozzle? The layer height on this print was 0.4 millimeters, but I could go as high as 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 and have no issues. You still get a fair amount of detail. Uh, you, it is, it is kind of, it is rough uh, when you scratch your fingernails on it, but I still think it looks good. And I love this print, this giant Darth Vader head. If you happen to print this Darth Vader head yourself really big, I'd love to hear about it. Let me know down in the comment section. Also, if you have a good Star Wars story, I'd love to hear it. The really good ones, you never know. I may pin it to the top of the comment pile. Don't forget to subscribe to Technically Nerdy, the secondary channel where I'm going to be posting vacation videos and vlogs and, and stuff like that. I've had some requests for that. I figured that's a good place for that. Other than that, you guys, like it and subscribe. Big thanks to my patrons. Hug each other more often as always. High five.